supernatural for the day. It is lifting time. Today is Wednesday, the 13th of October, 2021. It is a month of sowing and reaping. And in today's message, a man of God says, Look unto the Lord. Hallelujah. A theme scripture is from the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 2. And the Bible says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Hallelujah. Jesus is a source of salvation. He is a very fountain of living water. It is therefore compulsory for anyone who will stay on course in their Christian life to stay focused on the Lord Jesus. This is because without Jesus, whatever you do in your Christian life is empty. Jesus said in a gospel of John chapter 15 from verse 4 through 5, Abide in me and I in you. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. Hallelujah. Do you remember the case of Peter walking on water towards Jesus? If he had kept his gaze on the master, instead of the billowing waves, he wouldn't have been overwhelmed by them and began to sink. The same thing happens to many today when they, when they allow themselves to be overwhelmed by the magnitude of their problems instead of focusing on the word of God. They begin to sink. In your Christian walk, it is important that you look away from every distraction unto the master. Let all your attention be fixed on the Lord. Sometimes you may feel weak in your faith, but as you keep looking unto Jesus, your faith is strengthened because Jesus is the author and the perfecter of our faith. From today, turn your eyes unto Jesus. Look fully into his wonderful grace without wavering. And all the things around you will strongly become dim in the light of his wonderful grace. Hallelujah. Would you please open with me your Bibles for meditation scriptures for today? And we are reading from the book of John chapter 15 from verse 1 through 3. And the Bible says, I am the true vine and my father is a vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, it takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, it prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Hallelujah. We continue with our one-year Bible study plan and a reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 31 and chapter 33. And 2 Corinthians chapter 13. Hallelujah. Would you please rise up on your feet and let's make this prophetic declaration. I am kept in perfect peace because I stay in and live by God's word. My eyes are constantly fixed on Jesus captain of my salvation and shepherd of my soul I remain unperturbed irrespective of the test the trials and persecutions that I may face because he has made me triumphant always blessed be God 
Osta kele brali krazuka teila krozile mandara suta brodi. My eyes are fixed on Jesus, the author and the perfect of my faith. O sakapralis tolo brali galade. In Jesus' name. Amen.